Alrighty guys, we're growing peppermint. Is that peppermint you said? No, peppermint Swiss chard. Okay, so this is a great variety. We've had fun growing this in the past. Uh, it's a dark green uh, and bright pink uh, peppermint. And you can see it right there in the picture. You're gonna get to see it soon too, when we grow it, obviously. It's a leafy green vegetable uh, from the same th plant family, sorry, from the same plant family as beets and uh, spinach. And who doesn't love beets and spinach? Obviously I do. Obviously I think a lot of people do. So we're gonna be sowing it, it's about 100, 100, it's about 55 days, my apologies on that also. 55 days from sowing it to uh, harvest, so it is a quick grower. It likes the cool weather. It's usually about five to 15 days uh, a germination period on it, so make sure once we start watering it, we keep it damp. It's gotta stay damp, don't saturate it. Make sure it's damp, water it lightly, two or three, four times a day. Just make sure that soil stays damp. That is an important part about germination cycle. Um, we generally wanna plant a few more seeds than we think, because sometimes these guys just don't pop up. Um, and then uh, that's about it. Let's pop them open. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's an easy grower, to be honest with you. Um, and the best part is, look at those cool seeds. Honestly, those are kind of some of the neatest seeds, I think. I'm in love with my seeds. So what we're gonna do, as we've done before, we would cut a slight trough in the soil. And uh, unlike some of the uh, unlike some of the vegetables that we plant, uh, these seeds are easy to see. They're easy to space. Um, we're just going to go down the row. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And I really encourage everybody to get out and start trying these things. It's a great way, if you haven't done it, to, uh, to learn a new skill set, a new way of sustainability, and it's fun. I, uh, if you've seen my other videos, you can obviously tell that I drag my family into this all the time. Um, it is a passion of mine, but uh, my kids absolutely love getting out here and trying things. My daughter has actually helped me build most of this and revamp this garden bed this year, or, or uh, the entire area. She's helped me screw these beds together in the workshop, fill them with soil. So it's, uh, it's good for everybody. It's good to be outdoors. And most importantly, it's good to be healthy, eat healthy. I'm moving around here, I'm sorry. Just gonna save the rest of these uh, for a later date. Um, and if we look after these seeds, we'll be able to, uh, we're gonna plant some of these in the fall because it is a cool weather plant. Uh, we're not gonna plant them all uh, during the summer months because they're gonna bolt and uh, uh, they're gonna be no good essentially. So we'll save these for the fall. I think we're planting some in the fall. But uh, anyways, keep them in a cool, dark, dry area. Uh, that's pretty much standard seed, seed saving. So all we're gonna do, go along. I just pull the soil in. Nice and gentle. There's a couple big pieces of bark in this soil that came in. Um, and uh, it's a form of triple mix that we're using in these beds. I had some left over. I kind of cheated a little bit. Uh, we potted uh, quite a few trees this year because we have a nursery also. Um, and this is some of the soil left over from potting. So we mixed it in. It's still good. It's still triple mix based. Uh, it's just got a little bit more sand content in it and bark and stuff for drainage for our, our containers. Um, but I didn't want to waste it, so I figured we'd use it in these new plant beds. So all we're going to do is gently tap them in. And uh, here it is, I put it in my pocket. Swiss chard, it's not peppermint guys, it's just pulling your chain. Put this in, same as we do before, same as our other videos. Plant it a little bit deeper, I put the stake in a little bit deeper and it says it doesn't matter what you use uh, for marking them. The permanent marker always seems to fade out in the sun. So I just push them down the soil little ways. I can see the plant tag. I know there's a row planted there and I can pull it out and see what it is. So anyways, guys, get out there, try this. You're gonna love it and uh, you'll love how this tastes. Get it in the ground and enjoy.